Oh, Vivi and Suarez, right on. Wow. Okay. Oh, <laughs> the snooze into crit instantly. Vivi, we saw the Lucario earlier, and I think we're not opting for Lucario against Yoshi just because of the potent KO power that Yoshi has. So instead, we are seeing the hero come into play. Yeah, so I'm actually really excited to see Vivi back um, this far into bracket because it's been a while that uh, since he's placed this well at Xeno. So, you know what? Kudos to him. Uh, really, really awesome to see him succeed again. But gets that uh, really bit of an awkward downer there. That Kaboom doesn't kill quite yet. Swarries, of course, being so heavy. But then additionally, Yoshi's air acceleration just means that, you know, you'll be able to drift uh, and, and invalidate any horizontal knockback you may have. Yeah, Vivi making all the way here to top six, uh, you know, putting Silvio and D-Dog in the losers, a very strong run, uh, only falling into Tilde earlier, so very impressive stuff. And now we're seeing the hero coming out and almost taking stock one here on Suarez. Uh, I'm, I'm actually pretty glad to see Neo uh, coming back a little bit. We have, we've had, like, some pretty interesting top eights up until now, but seeing, like, the classics, seeing Vivi, seeing Dill, seeing Nambu's back at top eight, like... All, you know, nature, nature is healing every so slightly. Uh, but now, ooh, Vivi tries to get the dash back punish there, which I really love the attempt on, but you always got to remember just how much Yoshi can move through the air. Yep, yep, this is a very impressive start here for Vivi. Just racking up this extra damage, showing us why Hero is the choice here. And the bounce is going to just force uh, Yoshi to not burn any eggs. Yeah, as soon as you don't have egg, you don't have that mid-range pressure tool, you don't have that ability to ledge trap, um, and it's just like you can't really zone as well. But now, with Bounce no longer being in play, Swarius is just letting those eggs fly. Well, we've got another Kaboom coming out. That's exactly what took Suarez's first stock. And now Suarez on no wow. so back air into up smash. Had enough time to dash up and everything. And, uh, <laughs> Suarez, the back air master here. That's... His implementation and usage of back here is actually pretty nutty. He just, he gets so much mileage off of that move, and the way he also conditions people's shields, too, um, if they're holding on to shield, he's going to be going in with a neutral B. If the shield is small, he also tries to go through those shield pokes uh, in that kind of a position. But oh, Swarov is maybe getting a little bit too greedy with the way that he was landing on top of Vivi. Hila has maybe one of the most dangerous anti airs in the game. Yeah, trying to suffocate Vivi, but the combo was not true, and Vivi going to capitalize hard on that with the up tilt anti-air. And now Vivi trying to rack up some extra credit here. Vivi just trying to play back a little bit, keeps on getting caught on his jumps. As well as going to be able to get this tech chase on the platform with Beagle Lou's neutral B. Wow. Whoa. So optimal. Amazing damage right here against Suarez, uh, implementing the controlling of the pace and then trying to suffocate. And also just, again, trying to confirm into that KO right there with weeds. the back air fishing. When, when somebody's been moving around you the whole game, oh. and, the, and they start... Oh, wow. The patience there from Suarez knowing the backer would not confirm into a KO move and instead chasing the landing and now making it a one-stock game. When somebody who moves a lot the whole game suddenly stops, it is the most menacing thing in the world because you don't know what's going through their heads. You don't know what they're looking for. How's that 43? What, what's, what's good with Yoshi down it? Yeah, this is like a polar opposite matchup. I don't think he was ready for this going right after the John Numbers set to going into this like explosive stock one, but now making the adaptation, Suarez taking a lead here in game one. Yeah, he's just moving a lot less. He's standing still, he's dashing in and playing really safely with shield. And Hugo sometimes does not have the best tools to be able to quickly and safely pressure shield unless you're really like jumping in with like an aerial. And now Suarez could be putting himself in such a good position. Look how much space and respect he's giving Vivi with Excel battle. Oh, just breaking out of there. I think it was a neutral air or something. And just kind of get out of the corner and a thwack not going to make his mark but this is the last hit scenario very little mana on Vivi though who's it doable for who do you think is going to be able to take this one the lack Quick. of mana is definitely in Suarez's favor right now I thought that's going to be a four to take this the stock ah oh, that's going to be it yeah Vivi just sort of got out of options there so I was trying to set you up I was trying to get you to say something <laughs> and then they just game to immediately conclude after because that's what's happening all day but um yeah, at, the, at yeah. that point, like, Vivi doesn't have too many keep away options, just has to focus with his grabs, has to play grounded with his tilts, too. And I, I believe up throw with all those buffs on deck uh, would have been able to do it. So I don't disagree with the dash grab, but he probably just only wanted a turn around grab. I just think the proof is the pudding right there when we saw like the magic, the MP being under 10 right there. I think Hero really needs that like uh, surprise factor in those last hit scenarios. So that's why we're going to see Suarez uh, swinging in the favor of game one and uh, one game away from going to top four where I believe, uh, is it still waiting in top four? Or, no, no, no. It's actually uh, Arfang Spaghetti waiting in top four. That's right. Yeah, so definitely, Swagas definitely has a bit of an interesting matchup ahead of him, but definitely not out of the clue quite yet. I really like a lot of his adjustments to his movements, a lot of his adjustments to his jump-ins as well. And we're seeing Vivi not be able to pin him down really as much. 
Yeah, from going from John Numbers Game 3 to going into Hero from Vivi, uh, back to back, I mean, Suarez is making the proper adaptations because now 81% seemingly unanswered just until that uh, uh, projectile came through. And now, still, I think Suarez wow. is playing very solidly this first stock. He's catching jumps, he's conditioning shield well, and, you know, he's just playing right outside of Vivi's immediate area of effect. Oh, he's, oh, oh Yoshi! Oh. The double jump armor. Yoshi's a little cheaty. He just gets to avoid that. I wish I was that lucky. Right. No, no do not give that to Ness, please. Just jump, double jumps and armors and things. Double jump cancel with armor. Oh my god. He's giving me all sorts of ideas. But Swag is going to be able to close out that Ooh. stock with up smash. That, uh... boom. Yeah. Oof. And uh, really good stuff taking the first stock and now answering right back is Vivi, but uh, Suarez, wow, the down is going to net 100% uh, after that combo. It was such a good punish. I love the attempt thing from Suarez, but, you know, neutral B is just so, so committal. I do love his implementation of it, though. Yeah, forwarder on the shields, not safe. And now here we go. And Hero with a grab and an opportunity to close the gap. Just trying to space X so safely, but VV dashing and shielding in just the right spots, able to catch that uh, jump in. I do believe that was supposed to be like a drop down for you uh, that became an F smash, but you know what? We take those. Uh, he's definitely down for that, and these trades are now honestly not too bad for Hero as long as Hero's got the mana, but now burning a lot of that mana in the process. Uh, VV has a lot to answer to. Yeah, John is just like playing so patiently right now. Um, as soon as he gets that one falling back here, well, you know what, a back here altogether, uh, he is going to be able to take it. So, Vivi definitely has a lot of making up to do, but you know what, if anybody can do it, Helio can just pull one out of the menu. Yeah, but this is Vivi's tournament stock. It's now or never for Hero. And uh, Suarez doing just a great job of even answering bounce right there with the down airs into extra percent. Yeah, that dash back F smash, such a good Ooh. call out on uh, Spoilers constantly holding in uh, and approaching things. So he's he, there's still always that pressure to constantly approach so that VV can't like pull menu. Yeah, this magic, uh, this MP is not very high, so we're gonna get a quick grab and to get a little bit more, get a little bit of buff, but now we gotta uh, just <laughs> not play with too much fire right there, Suarez. Suarez needs to get a lot more extra credit here. Wow, yeah. They're just trying to play back a little bit, play really patiently, but the VV just has like such a good idea of how to like anti-zone him, how to be able to get in there in time, and such a good usage of up tilt once again, so disjointed, so big, one of the best uh, anti alias in the game. Oh wow, yeah, and he's catching uh, VV in shield and is dealing that extra damage, but VV did a really good job of keeping it close. I'm gonna be setting up another oh, attack no chase. <gasps> is this gonna be it? It's Zoom. such a good position, but then zooms back to safety and on the other platform to boot. So never ends up actually falling into that uphill. That was such good advantage from Suarez. Yeah, absolutely very good stuff right there. 100% Suarez working on this 2 0. Wow, hot 44 coming from that. But now we got no magic. We're gonna be getting a job. VV off stage with no MP to his name. So if he has to make it back from deep. Oh man, this ledge trapping from Suarez, that's enough to well, do it right there with a the 2-0 victory, moving on to top four against Spaghetti. I just think that was so well played from Suarez. Um, a lot of his positioning was really, really tight. He, his jump pins were so ambiguous. You don't know if he's going to do, uh, especially at high police sense, is he going to go for neutral beat? Is he going to go for the back hit? And those two moves are just able to cover so much, especially when Hugo, as a character, you out of shield is so lackluster. We'll never see it again. Uh, we saw it in game one, the down B and the patience from Suarez in those last hit scenarios, staying patient and composed, and that's going to be a uh, 2-0 advancing onto the next part of the bracket. And I don't know, maybe it was player four, you know, keeping his seat warm or something. Uh, but no, that's, I mean, it's pushed Suarez yeah. all the way from, you know, uh, I think top 12 to, you know, taking it consistently over and over. And now uh, in the, the, the top cut of the bracket here, the top four. I didn't feel okay being taller than you for a second. I'm not. <laughs> that, that seat was up a little bit too high. My feet were dangling this whole time. Uh, so not, now we're a little bit better uh, at head level.